this third Spark Post video is going to talk about just the layout options that are available in your toolbar. The second video covered design, colors, and resize. We're going to look at layout, which I already have selected. So the layout is talking about the different cells that are located on your poster or your project. Right now I have three different cells that are there. And as you can see, I have a little button box here that was the one that by default was chosen for this project. Now just with the color options, there's a shuffle here. So you can see as I shuffle, it's going to change the size of the boxes and move around the text and images as it sees fit. I'm going to undo so I can get back to how it looked there. I also have a ton of different layout options that I can choose. So maybe I click on this one and it's churned, changed this to this type of feature. Maybe I want to put another image in, so I might want this feature. And we'll leave it here for that one. But you can see, as I scroll down, that there are a number of different ones that you can do. Now, after you choose what layout you think would work best, you still have some control on a lot of these things. For instance, I can change the size of each one of these cells right within my layout. If I click this cell that has the image of the dog on it, I'm going to get a little white bar here that I can drag up and down. And so you can see I can change the size of my image and how much of it is going to display. I am also able to, if there is an image in there, click on the image and I can move the image around to try to fit it the best way that I can. While I'm still working with this image, you see in the toolbar itself, I've got a scale option. I can scale the image so I can zoom it in and out to make it fit exactly how I want. And that's once I scale it out, maybe I drag it someplace else and I make it fit however I feel is best. Okay. There's also a rotate option. So you can see I can rotate the picture one way or the other. I'm going to undo to fit it back in. I can flip it horizontally. I can flip it vertically. It is whatever's best that way. While I'm still working inside of the images, um, you'll see that I have different filters that I can put on my images. So as I click, you're going to see that it looks a little bit differently depending on what I would like to layer over the top of it. Okay. If I would want to change this and not have an image, I can click the trash can and it will, as an option to delete, and it asks, do I want to delete the section or the cell that it's in or just the photo? So I can get rid of one or the other. By deleting this section, this bottom part would be gone and only the two long ones would remain. I also have an option to replace. So if I click on replace, it would let me replace the image that's there. You're going to see it gives me an option to search here as well. Okay. Uh, if when I'm working with text, I can do the same type of deal that will count, will hit the text part on the next video mostly. Uh, but I did not show you the color fill. So if I select this option here, or this cell here, it since it has a colored background already, it allows me to come in here and I could change my color to whatever tint I would want it to be, however I think would best fit. Or I could always come to image and choose to upload or search for an image that would fit that cell. 